According to a study, by the time kids with siblings are 11 years old, they've spent roughly 33% of their free time with those siblings. And 80% of those people spend at least a third of all of their time with a sibling or siblings by the end of their lives. If you think about that for just a second, that means so many of our habits, our likes, our dislikes, all those little things that make us who we are, they're heavily influenced by our siblings. We're spending so much time with them. I wanted to make this documentary because I have five siblings of my own, and I know that a lot of who I am today as a person has been shaped so much by who they are as people. We were close as kids, we're learning how to be close as adults, and I really just wanted to see what other people's sibling relationships looked like. So in this documentary, you're going to see Chelsea and Randy, Dakota and Donovan, Joseph and Elisha, and Mary Lou, John, Katie, and Annabelle, who called in on the phone from Hawaii. This is Siblings. <laughs> I don't even say I love you. Oh, no. Um, Let me see. How often do we say we love you? Actually, I say it a lot, and then I grow a chip. So she's like, <laughs> she was looking at me, she's like, no. Um, she don't never say nothing. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> really the only time I really say I love you is like if I'm in trouble and my mom's like, <laughs> so she's, she's, like, she's, like she's like say I love you and then help it out <laughs> or or like if she gets mad at me because I don't respond to him kissing and hugging me so basically it's insincere it's really insincere <laughs> it's kind of overlooked but I'd be like I love you and she's like mm, okay <laughs> <laughs> We say love in text. Yeah. Say love. L O V. L O V. Love. I think Annabelle started it. Okay. We, we probably say it a lot more than most people do, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I would think so. Like, I don't hang up the phone without saying I love you, so. Every time we talk at the end of the conversation? Well, sometimes it's in the middle of the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I say it more than you. Yeah. I say it like maybe twice a day. It just depends on the mood. Because, like, sometimes I'm in a really good mood that I'm just, like, telling him all the time he doesn't like it. <laughs> oh, we used to, like, actually beat each other up. <laughs> but... Yeah, we used to be terrible to each other. <laughs> I wasn't allowed to hit anybody back or anything, so I'm just over there just getting beaten. Oh, yeah, just... John wasn't allowed to hit us. Oh, and I think yeah. we used it to our advantage. <laughs> yeah. We would always fight over mac and cheese, because Mary Lou would be in charge of watching us, yeah. and then she'd cook us mac and cheese and then eat it all, yeah. and so John and I were starving. While she, she would hog the yeah. mac and cheese. She would. She ate good. <laughs> Katie was usually gone. Mom and Dad were at work, and then Mary Lou had to babysit us, and that was just a disaster. <laughs> Hit her with the spatula. <laughs> I don't remember. Okay, so we started off play fighting. This was like three years ago. We were play fighting, and then he grabbed his spatula and whacked me. And then I got really bad, so it was like spatula versus wooden spoon and everything. I don't remember. And then like we stopped talking for a few hours. Oh yeah, I, I do. So bad. Oh yeah, I do remember uh, that. I yeah, remember that. we were just play fighting, and then it just. Went she got so heated. Weird. Yeah, it got weird. It was, yeah. He's mean. I'm not mean. <laughs> I'm not mean. Joseph's mean to me sometimes, or he's like, how he does stuff is kind of like he's being rude. And I'm like already a rude person, but I don't like people to be rude to me. So I get like real mad. And I'm like, you need to like, you know, treat me with some respect. And like, because I'm older than you. <laughs> but he doesn't see it that way. That's our main like yeah. arguing. It's I'm just, not rude. Like, if I I'm just... rude to him, then he's. Yeah, he gets mad. But I'm sometimes I'm just overly honest. <laughs> like, if people, yes, yes. Sometimes he's just mean yes. for no reason. Like, if no. he's already irritated, he's going to be mean to you. 17th birthday. I don't know if you remember this, Randy. Was I still pushing your buttons when you were 17? <laughs> yes. Oh, Maybe man. I was 16. I was old enough to work. This is why it's embarrassing, because I was old enough to not do what I do in this story. I was very irritable because it was that time of the month for me so everything was making me mad and randy i don't know exactly what he was saying but it was like he was just repeating a phrase over and over again like chelsea you should knock it off chelsea you should knock it off and i just lost i was like randy you need to stop 
And he was like, no, you need to stop. You need to knock it off. I literally lost my temper so bad. I jumped, like I literally ran and jumped over our couch. And he, was like, oh! and he ran back to his room and I literally was like swinging on him. And I went to, and I threw a punch right as he shut the door and my fist went through the door at my dad's house. And it, that's why it's embarrassing is because I was old enough to know better. <laughs> And Randy was just like, dude, I was just joking. What are you doing? And yeah, like we never got into physical altercations. Like that wasn't normal for us. Like normally ours would just be verbal, yeah. but for whatever yeah. reason, I just snapped in that moment. I deserved it. I mean, at this point, the door got it and not me, but uh, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> now we fight over communication. Yes. Or lack of communication. Is because we all communicate very differently. Yes. Time and communication, and also being messy. Yeah. John doesn't like when we're messy. <clears throat> That's true. That is true. He's the really? clean one. Well, he doesn't have as many products as we do. <laughs> we have all the beauty products. His bathroom is not riddled with, <laughs> with stuff <laughs> like we do. But I don't think we really, like, fight. We don't really fight, no. no. We don't. We bicker at each other sometimes, but it's never, like, bad. I don't know. Depends on if someone's engaged or not. Oh, yeah. Katie's that was married. Awful. So oh, that's that a bit horrible. Wow, exposed. Great. Oh, that was a dirt road. <laughs> you ran up, Katie. We were almost done with the question. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Like, I'll start telling him his story. He would, like, do this thing where he would just get, like, really serious, like, like, make this face, like, what I was saying is just, like, so bizarre, like, off the wall and make me all, like, what? What? What am I saying? You know? <laughs> that, and then we, <laughs> like that. <laughs> so chelsea knows that she can say some awkward things in the midst of like social conversations i mean sometimes she'll just say some stuff that's just so like she thinks it's gonna be really funny and it's really <laughs> not but then it makes it so funny because she's so convinced that what she thinks she's about to say is so funny so it's like that awkwardness that just makes it great it's kind of like i'm not la i'm not laughing with her i'm laughing at her kind of thing, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Four or five years ago, Annabelle started this she alter ego. But say where you're from. Your yeah, well, name is Vilma from Epians. Um, I am Greek. She's dying a little bit because she's like, why? Yeah. But she doesn't do she it a whole Vilma, lot. And then John was Gus. Yeah. And Katie's Patricia. She didn't give me a Patricia. name. Patricia. You don't get a name if you're not good at the accent. Yeah, <laughs> true, I guess. John's good because awesome. he has always gone along with whatever we have done, like dancing the high school musical, taking on the whole like ensemble of whoever. He's jumping in my wedding. Yeah. No rehearsal. You just Yeah, they didn't right even in. invite me to the dance. And I said, well, you know what? I'm yes, gonna be did. in the dance. We invited you in the dance. John didn't practice at all for Katie's surprise wedding dance. Came out there and just stole the show. Like just jumped out stole there the and like show. played it off. Didn't know the lyrics, didn't know anything. But you still- I, I rehearsed one loved time. It. I rehearsed one time. You did. The yeah, night before. Yeah. Something will be funny, but then John takes it like the next step and it's like, wait, you're saying it's Because John's so- Yeah, John's so- <laughs> Not good. John's just easy. It's just like, it's just like, it comes to him. I just got open door and I walk through. It's so good. <laughs> he's just so quick on his feet. He laughs off of dumb stuff. That just makes me laugh. Because okay. he's like, sometimes it'll be like something that's not funny and he'll just be like really, really laughing. I think that's funny. I was a big Dakota one. <laughs> I don't even know. But I laugh at everything. So, um, I think the one time where it's been like a very, very sincere because John was like actually funny laugh was this one time. And that might even be insincere. It was like nine or ten o'clock at night, and we're supposed to be asleep, <laughs> and we were playing trivia crap, but to the ghetto version where where we were making the questions. <laughs> And the categories and everything. And it's like the middle of the night, pitch black and everything. And he's like, okay, we're spinning the wheel. <laughs> oh, yeah. And like the stories that we were making up and everything. It, yeah. That's the one time I can think that he's actually made me laugh, laugh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do stupid we things stupid where like, things. you do like to bother him. If you're bored, well, you have to bother you. him. Yeah, they yeah, yeah. You. Yeah, because he's just, I don't know, he's just fun. It's someone to go to. I don't know, but we... When we like pretend we're in an airplane or something, that that's <laughs> Annabelle and I with the sea boss. We would like take two stools. <laughs> Annabelle and I would like be on like a moped or something pretending. <laughs> I have videos of all three of them pretending to be in an airplane. That was a long time. <laughs> or a cooking like show. A year ago. Or if you no, just that, like the quarantine brought that stuff back, but before it was just stupid stuff growing up. I would be 
dog tired because I was always out late. Like after, at least in high school, like I'd always come home late, and uh, and I just want to go to bed. And the next thing you know, it'd be like ten o'clock. <laughs> ah, wake up, wake up. <laughs> so true. Let's go do something. I'm like, huh? but they're not even going anywhere. They're just dragging you to the kitchen to do this act, <laughs> and you're just sitting there, dog tired, and everybody's like, oh, we're taking off. And I'm like, <laughs> we were like sitting there. Welcome to our airline. You know what came up on my Snapchat memories the other day? Mm -hmm. You taking Annabelle's door off of her room. You talk about, you come I up and bother us. I said talk that you're not bothering us. You come up and bother us as work. well. I think we just laugh at dumb stuff, so it doesn't matter what we're laughing at, because we're going to laugh at it. I used to say this thing when we were kids. <laughs> <laughs> We would be joking, and I would go in, I would say something, and the whole room would go silent, and I'd be like, I killed that joke, huh? And everyone would be like, yeah, and I didn't just kill it, I buried it with the shovel. Like, I would just go on and on and on about how I killed the joke. I got the machete. Right! <laughs> Cut off its limb. It's like, the joke is dead. <laughs> He's scared of everything. No, not everything. <laughs> um, uh, mm -hmm. maybe spiders. He, I think one of his biggest fears is like being late. Like he doesn't like to be late <laughs> at all. But yeah. for some reason, there's like with him, if he's late, he's like you know in like a I don't know, like in a panic. Yeah. She also hates bugs. Oh, flying bugs. Flying bugs. She hates flying bugs. Uh, what else? I think that's it. Oh, and losing. She hates that's not a fear, but she really hates it, though. I don't mind losing. <laughs> yes, you do. Just mask it. Annabelle's afraid of oh, bugs. Okay. She will run out of them, which I think they all are. They're all afraid yeah. of bugs. But... Yeah. John and I are both afraid of bananas. Bananas. I bananas. bananas. Amba doesn't like a banana being near her. Near them. Mary Lou um, usually is the one that checks the locks on every door at night. Yes. To make <laughs> She'll sure. come in. She'll come in. <laughs> when you're asleep, you'll be knocked out. I've been asleep for probably an hour or something. And she's oh, about yeah. to go to bed. She'll come check on you because she thinks that the phone charger got wrapped around your neck. <laughs> I just want to make sure you're safe. I'll be I'll hear I'll hear it sometimes and I'll be like What's going on? You know, you're, it. you're in a deep sleep and you think somebody's breaking into the house or something. Oh, I'm just here to check to make sure you didn't strangle yourself with the phone cord. But she checks all the doors. She so does she check checks all, all the doors. doors. The window one time was budged about this much and she called the police <laughs> office. Uh, Randy does not like snakes or spiders or bees. I feel like, oh, am I wrong? I don't, do I want a bee landing on me? I guess. Probably I don't want to be landing on me. You but. have this scream that I remember, and maybe maybe you outgrew this, but this certain like aha, like I can't do it. It's a Randy scream with like bees specifically. Like I feel like I remember that specifically. <laughs> I guess Chelsea grew out of her bee fear. Either she grew out of it, or or she made it twice as bad when she uh, decided to put a plastic bucket over a beehive in our cousin's backyard. It was a ground beehive. And then she decided after putting the bucket on the beehive that it would be a great idea to kick it off. And uh, she kicked the bucket off and the, literally a swarm of bees chased her back into the house stinging her. So, oh I mean, I think it's, that's one of the days that made my fear of bees a little worse. I don't know how it affects her. <laughs> we went to like, it's like a bungee jump thing. <laughs> and so she, um, she was talking about, she's like, oh, that one looks scary. We can, we can jump off the thing for free or something. Like we can just jump off the ledge at home for free or something. And so it's like really high. And so I said, okay, let's do this last track before we go home. And so she was like, okay. So let me make a long story short. We went up, we went up to the high top. And so she was like, oh, I'm scared. And so then, you know, it gets bright after a while. The thing was like, it's like a big tower. And the thing kind of like moves because the wind or whatever. And so then she's like, oh, I don't know if I can do this no more. She was like, I'm talking all this mess. Talking about this look easy. And then she was like, <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget um, going to Randy's house after Amos's eldest was born and seeing him hold Amos and just seeing the love in his eyes. It was just so beautiful. And it was weird when my oldest nephew was born, I almost felt like it, it, becoming an auntie is is a huge milestone too. It's just, it's such a blessing. Yeah, and and we were just talking about this the other day, but um, you know, Chelsea definitely always, you know, kind of thought about, and she looked forward to the time of being a mom and, and you know, 
having a family and everything. So to see how good, um, how awesome of a mom she's been wasn't necessarily surprising, but at the same time, the only thing that's different is like, it's real life. So it's like, there's real warfare and, you know, being able to just kind of do it together as well and be as close as we've been. It was super, super awesome. All right. Don's just gonna go around the circle. So <laughs> he's ready for he did not wait for this. This question. was the only one I saw in the text <laughs> to prep for this. Oh great. Oh, Your eyes just scroll so down. We to should just start number seven. let's start with Annabelle. Oh. Shall we? Oh. Y'all chime what? in. Y'all chime in. I'm afraid. I'm so, so what afraid. kind of parent will they be? Annabelle's Annabelle. afraid. <laughs> I don't know. I think she'll be she'll be the one that's like, oh, you want to go out? Yeah, see you tomorrow. You know, it's like <laughs> yeah, just free spirit. Just roll on, ride on, oh, and call serious. me if you need something. She's gonna be the one that's like puts the car seat in the front seat. You know, like, <laughs> like, you know, like, like, she's the Phoebe. I feel like Annabelle will have a good mm, understanding because I feel like Annabelle had a season where she was kind of misunderstood. Yeah. When she was a teenager, I feel like she's gonna that'll help equip her. Mary Lou, she's gonna be a, she's gonna be protective, I can tell you that. She's yeah, she will. She'll be like the mother hen. She'll Her kids will have the nicest clothes. They will. They will have nicest <laughs> clothes, so messy rooms, but they will <laughs> no. shine out. We're not having messy room. No. <laughs> we are not having messy room. Mary Lou will have them involved in stuff too. She'll be running around, taking them to things, taking them to places. And her husband just better hang on. <laughs> it's, it's a ride. Yeah. She'll be a team mom. Like in high school, like the football team comes over to her house. Yeah. Yes. That'll be that'll be her. She'll be the fun yes. mom. Yes! I love that. I can see you being the fun mom. So, yeah. So, Elijah, um, she's going to be a chill parent overall. But, like, her <laughs> when children get on her nerves, though, <laughs> like, that's when she'll turn into this, like, the black mom. <laughs> I feel like she's gonna threaten her children, like, I'm gonna beat you, like, all the time, <laughs> like, <laughs> but never do it, though. I think Joseph's gonna be a soft parent. Like, I don't think he's gonna discipline his kids. What do you mean soft? Like, like he's just, I don't think his kids are, I mean, I think they're gonna listen to him. I just don't think he's gonna be, like, an, the enforcer in whatever relationship he's in. I think John will be... I don't know. John is very um, sensitive and in a way like, yeah, he's sen he's sensitive, but he's funny and he's very smart and his and he's going to be. I don't he know. I think he's going to be like down. really well rounded. He's going to be like super fun, but then he's also going to be like the disciplinarian where he's like, if you yeah, get out of line, like I'm going to have your back, like I'm going to have it under control. I don't think John's going to let things slip through the cracks. Because John, like, whenever there's people, like, people's kids that are, like, just oh get to God. run around and do whatever they want, John, like, actually gets annoyed. He's like, no, like, somebody needs to I think our, shape. Like, oh, John, yeah, like, we notice shape. when other people's I think our kids will pretty oh, much be in line. Oh, gosh. That's the <laughs> best thing in, in prepping to become a parent, which I'm, you know, no one to talk. But I think the best thing is just to see how other people do it. <laughs> just, they're models. Everybody's a model. Everybody's an example, whether you're a good one or a bad one. And the bad ones just shine out. They just shine out. They tell you what not to do. Katie will definitely be fun. In her own way. <laughs> Katie is not as spontaneous as the rest of us, Indeed. though. Indeed. She is not as adventurous. Yes. She's very much um, has to think. I want to be. She's an on, analyzer. She sits on the decision or... Be like, do you want to go on a trip? And it's like a week has passed and she hasn't given you an answer yet. So... She'll definitely like. It's based on her timeline. Yeah. <laughs> Not the actual yeah, time it, of the world. She's yeah. Like, oh, you know, we'll get around yeah. to it. But Katie's, Katie, like, Katie's fun. She just may, her kids just might need a little help from some fun. <laughs> yeah. From the aunts and uncles. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Katie like cares a lot. She'll be yeah. like checking on her child every five seconds to make sure it's breathing. She is naturally Katie. great with kids, though. Yeah. I mean, that's Katie, her profession. You are good with kids. You are good with kids. And Katie has yeah. patience. She's My able to be the more spontaneous one. Yeah, Katie's able to like adapt to the situation well. Like whatever the kid is dealing with, she can have like five kids. They'll have like a different something different going on. She can like adapt to each one of them in their own way and like meet their help meet their need. So I think she's going to be very good at helping each child. I was getting all these
and speeches. Yeah, lectures. He's, he's and like, and lectures and talks and. So we're like, nope, it's just and you and me. He was so. just like, he'd be like, you know, he'd be like, you're going to meet each other one day and, you know. And oh, then, that's what got you? I just mean, they were irritating me. And so, uh, you know, I was like, I need someone to talk to. Well, I was just like, I don't know. They were like, you're going to meet each other one day. But then I was like, you know, you guys need to stop being mean to each other because, you know, you build each other up. But, but like, as, like, years go by, I realized that our relationship is stronger. It's, it's way better. If like, we don't even it. argue as much. We used to argue over we everything. Always, like, everything. <laughs> like, everything. He, yeah, he'd take a picture of me, and then I'd, like, follow him to the bathroom. <laughs> we would just <laughs> rise up videos. Yeah, <laughs> like, me going under the bathroom door. Yeah, she, she, she's a creep. When we were younger, I think, because... I don't, I don't think I liked him very much because he was younger. You know, I just did not like, I didn't like the fact that Gosh. he was younger. So, um, I don't, yeah, I think we fought more then, but now we don't really fight like at all. I actually know, like, I remember the exact day that we became close. I know it sounds weird, but like yeah. before this one specific day, Randy and I, I feel like had very stereotypical, like big brother, little sister thing where it's like, you, you get frustrated because he's trying to hang out with his friends. And I just, you know, want to tag along, you know, <laughs> but, um, um, when I was young, I would often, Randy had a bunk bed in his room and I would get scared in the middle of the night. And I went in there at like four in the morning and he happened to be awake. I want to say I was maybe like nine or 10. So he would have been about what, like 12, 13. Um, and we just ended up like having this really deep conversation about different things, different experiences. I remember we ended up getting up and cause as the sun came up, we're like, Oh, let's go shoot some hoops. We ended up just staying up and we went out front. We shot hoops for like a couple hours. And ever since then our relationship's always been like really deep and, and really cool. one. so, and I've, I've, I don't know if we started saying I love you at that moment, like all the time, but I definitely know that's when our connection shifted. Yeah. <laughs> I've always imagined that we'd be those siblings that would just stop talking to each other. <laughs> I actually thought that. I've the, always I, imagined I actually, that. I actually thought that in the, actually, honestly, long time ago. But as we started to get older, yeah, I realized that our relationship closer. actually got closer. Maybe a few of us will have families by then, but I think we'll. Oh, this is going to be emotional. Ten years. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't think it matters, like, where we'll be, but I still think that we'll all still be close. Like, we always talk about everything because we're all friends. So if one of us doesn't know something that happened, we're like, wait, what? Yeah. So, and then we get filled in. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully Mary Lee, John and I are married by then. <sighs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm so Katie's good. like, I'm praying. Uh, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have uh, more, more kiddos to uh, Lord willing. I mean, they'll be at different ages, which will mean that our, we'll be doing different type of activities, but no, in terms of relationally. Yeah. I don't think that right. would change. Yep. Be the best of friends. Sure. Yeah, I think so. I think we'll still be close. No, you gotta be, you gotta be, speeding. you gotta be, you gotta be, bolting, you gotta be, jogging, no, you gotta be, <laughs> no, you gotta be, you gotta oh be, my god, you gotta be, 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 you g